Oh, hey there. How you guys and girls doing? I am the floor hugger. You guys know that. And you usually don't see my face today, do you? That would be tomorrow that I do the vlogmentaries for month of August. The hugger commentaries, Friday vlogmentaries, whatever. But I wanted to talk a bit about GamesCon today, as requested by, boom, on the screen, Wade Lawrence. He wanted me to cover a little bit of GamesCon and Twitch, but I'm going to do GamesCon right now. Because, you know, I have some topics. I didn't pick everything because I didn't like everything, so I picked out the ones that stood out to me. Uh, some Just some general topics I'm going to talk about, you know, with you guys. Yeah, okay. So, The Witcher, probably the most beautiful game... Yep, I'm gonna say the most beautiful game, because you know what, I love Dragon Age, but The Witcher is amazing. It has a new trailer come out, well, of course it's gonna have a new trailer, it's GamesCon, they gotta get you hyped for the game. The Witcher has always been beautiful, The Witcher 2 is such a drastic change from The Witcher 3 that it's, it's like, is this the same game? I'm excited for this game, am I going to play it after I get, uh, after I do some upgrading to my system, because, whew. That game is demanding. I can I can't even run Witcher 2. Mind you, I still have the stock uh, graphics card, stock everything still in my system from when I bought it. So, well, no, nope, I have a hard drive and new RAM, but other than that, everything is still stock. I have to do an upgrade soon. Just gotta get the monies, you know, right? And what I reported on yesterday was it yesterday? The Tomb Raider. Um, Thank God the announcement was, it is not an exclusive, it is not like, it's a timed exclusive, that's what I meant to say. Timed exclusive, what does that mean, you guys are asking me, like, hugger, slow down. I don't know what timed exclusive means. Microsoft paid, let's say, $6 million for the Tomb Raider title for six months. So they hold, they hold Laura Croft for six months. And after six months, it's going to come to all systems, they say. PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One PC. So it's all going to come down... After they haven't said the time or di or amount, I'm just guessing. So after six months, it's going to be released. I'm super happy about that. I don't care if it's six months after Xbox. I just want to play it. I really don't care. I love Laura Croft. At first, I was upset because they alienated their fan base. Laura started on the PS1, and you don't you don't do that. You don't alienate your whole fan base because you got a little money, but money speaks I guess when you're dealing with the billions and trillions of dollars who knows Assassin's Creed Rogue yes they're coming out with two games if I'm not mistaken or it's a DLC I don't think it's a DLC to unity but two games are coming out like I reported on Vulture a couple months ago they're planning to make a game for older gen I call it current gen but if I don't say older gen people you guys look at me um, Next gen is getting Unity, and Rogue is might. If I haven't really read up on it too much, I mean Unity is supposed to be for the older gen, current gen. I'm excited. It's got a new trailer, actual, actual gameplay footage from the game, which is nice because all you had before was a trailer. So I'm excited to see where Rogue goes because you can play as a Templar, and I don't. That's all I know. I I. I don't really like looking at games that I'm really super excited about because I don't want to ruin it. Like, I know, I know you can play as a Templar. Woo, that's all I really know, and I don't want to ruin it for myself. You got it's like getting to the end of the book before you even buy the book, and I don't want that to happen. My favorite game studio, probably because they're from my hometown, Bioware, has released teaser footage. Teaser footage from their new game, an action RPG, not Mass Effect, not Dragon Age, but Shadow Realms. Now, I only saw the, the gameplay footage from uh, GamesCon. I have not seen anything else. Uh, eh, I'd have to look more into it and see what really it's about. I'm not 100% sure yet, but you know what? Bioware has, has yet to lead me wrong. Yes, they screwed up Mass Effect 3's ending, but they have yet to truly harm me where they're going to drive me away. I love Dragon Age, love Mass Effect, um, and last, but definitely not least, that I'm going to bring to you guys is Far Cry 4. Now, there's been gameplay, there has been controversy surrounding this game. I don't know, 
Some people are some people are doing the what is it? Resident Evil Six Five Five thing and branding it as kind of racist. Um, you know what? I don't care. I loved Far. I hated Far Cry Two. Never played Far Cry One. Hated Far Cry Two because it was just so boring, repetitive. Loved Far Cry Three. Absolutely adore uh, Blood Dragon. Which, by the way, if most people don't know, is its own standalone game. You don't need the original Far Cry 3 for it. So if you can find that on a Steam sale, which I... I was it Steam? Yeah, Steam sale. Pick it up. It's amazing. It's like a flashback to 80s gaming. It's, it's just awesome. But Far Cry 4 is... There's so many trailers. So many trailers. So little time to watch. And you know what? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go see what more else has come out on GamesCon. If you guys want me to talk about something, leave it in the comments section below. Let's give this video 20 likes, 30 if you're feeling generous. And you know what, if I did miss something that you guys want me to talk about, like I said, leave it in the comments section below and leave me some commentary topics. Let's thank Wade Lawrence again for recommending to talk about GamesCon. Now GamesCon is, GamesCon is not over yet. And I will be probably doing another video, say Monday, Sunday, you know, I like to do it a couple days in, not every day, because, you know what, I ain't got time for that, ain't nobody got time for that. But, yeah, I'll let you guys go, because I got to ed edit this now. Bye, guys. Hey there, guys and girls, this is The Four Hugger. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and check out the videos annotated on the screen. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.